Welcome back to the channel, Aviation Enthusiasts. Today, we're diving deep into one of the most fascinating and controversial topics in modern aviation, the Lockheed SR-72, the rumored successor to the iconic SR-71 Blackbird. Is this aircraft more than just a myth? Let's find out. First, let's set the stage. The SR-71 Blackbird was a marvel of engineering, capable of flying at speeds exceeding Mach 3. This legendary reconnaissance aircraft operated from the 1960s until the late 1990s, gathering critical intelligence while evading enemy defenses. As technology has advanced, the need for even faster and more capable reconnaissance platforms has become evident. Enter the SR-72, often referred to as the son of Blackbird. Recent developments suggest that Lockheed Martin's highly anticipated, uncrewed hypersonic aircraft, the SR-72, is on track for its first flight in 2025. Believed to be a top secret project for the United States Air Force, the SR-72 is expected to reach speeds over 4,000 miles per hour, approximately 6,437 kilometers per hour, making it the fastest plane ever developed. Its primary functions will likely include intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance ISR activities similar to its predecessor. What sets the SR-72 apart is not just its incredible speed, but also its design. Unlike the manned SR-71, the SR-72 is expected to be unmanned and reusable, allowing for operations in environments where piloted aircraft would be at significant risk. Its design is reported to be over 100 feet long, mirroring the size of the SR-71, but with advanced capabilities that leverage modern technology. During a 2020 congressional hearing, Air Force officials hinted at a next-generation aircraft capable of hypersonic flight. While they didn't explicitly name the SR-72, the implications were clear. This acknowledgement could suggest that the aircraft is indeed under development, signaling a substantial leap forward in aerial reconnaissance capabilities. The SR-72 is also believed to be linked with Lockheed Martin's new high-speed strike weapon, HSSW, which is designed to enhance its striking capabilities. This weapon system could fire hypersonic missiles faster than any existing systems, achieving hypersonic speeds almost instantaneously and maintaining them for longer durations. Imagine the strategic advantages this could provide in combat scenarios, much like the exhilarating aerial maneuvers we see in Top Gun, Maverick. The film captures the thrill of high-speed flight, but the reality of hypersonic capabilities presents a new frontier in air combat. So why is hypersonic technology so crucial? To operate effectively in modern warfare, the SR-72 will need to evade advanced air defenses. The military recognizes that achieving speeds above Mach 5 is essential to staying ahead of adversaries. The development of a turbine-based combined cycle, TBCC hypersonic propulsion system, is at the forefront of this project. This advanced engine combines traditional turbofan engines used in tactical aircraft with a scramjet capable of sustaining hypersonic speeds. It represents a major leap in propulsion technology, ensuring that the SR-72 can take off and land safely while also achieving speeds that will allow it to traverse vast distances in a fraction of the time. Think about flying from the US to Europe in just an hour and a half. As we reflect on the potential of the SR-72, it's essential to consider the technological advancements that have occurred since the SR-71. Jet engine technology has improved significantly over the past six decades, but hypersonic capabilities require even more sophisticated systems. The military must overcome the challenge of creating an engine that can operate at subsonic speeds for takeoff and landing, while still achieving the hypersonic speeds necessary for combat. In Top Gun, Maverick, we witness the thrilling dynamics of aerial combat, highlighting the importance of speed and agility. The SR-72 could redefine these dynamics, allowing for rapid intelligence gathering and strike capabilities that would leave adversaries scrambling to react. Moreover, the funding for projects like the SR-72 often remains classified, leaving many details shrouded in secrecy. However, the significant investments the government has made in hypersonic technology indicate a serious commitment to developing the SR-72 and maintaining air superiority. The stakes are higher than ever, and as we see in Top Gun, Maverick, having the edge in speed and technology can make all the difference in high-stakes situations. 
The success of the SR-72 will depend on collaboration between government agencies, military branches and defence contractors, reminiscent of the teamwork seen in Top Gun. Each entity plays a vital role in ensuring that this cutting-edge aircraft becomes a reality. In conclusion, the SR-72 is not just a fleeting thought or a Hollywood fantasy. With hints of government acknowledgement, significant funding, and the pursuit of advanced hypersonic technologies, it may very well be on the horizon. The legacy of the Blackbird lives on, and the excitement surrounding the SR-72 promises to keep aviation enthusiasts on the edge of their seats. If you enjoyed this deep dive into the SR-72, be sure to give us a thumbs up and subscribe for more aviation content. What are your thoughts on the SR-72? Is it the next big thing in aerial reconnaissance? Let us know in the comments below.